Hello students, welcome to Ranker Sub. In this session, we are discussing about the most expected questions for CDS 2 2019, and this video will be of the modern Indian history questions expected from the modern Indian history. Right? Let us discuss with the first question. First question: Which of the following governors in India is the first person to abolish Sati Sahagamanam? And the options are A. Francisco D. Almeida, B. Alfonso D. Albuquerque, C. Lord William Bentick, D. Duplay. Right. See, in this option, Francisco D. Almeida is a Portuguese governor, Albuquerque is a Portuguese governor, William Bentick is an English governor, and Duplay is a French governor. But the person to abolish Sati in India was William Bentick, that is 1828. But in the question, we are asking first person. And the first person is Alfonso D. Albuquerque, who abolished Sati in some parts of India, that is in the parts of Kerala, somewhere around 15 10s. So, answer is B. Alfonso D. Albuquerque. Be very clear. First person, Alfonso D. Albuquerque, but person who abolished Sati in complete India, Lord William Bentley. So, answer is B. Alfonso D. Albuquerque. Second question. Which act mentioned village governments into transfer subjects? A. Government of India Act 1919, B. Government of India Act 1909, C. Uh, Government of India Act 1935, C. Council Act 1909, and D. Charter Act 1853. Right. So, in Government of India Act 1919, first time we got something called a diarchy. Diarchy is two governments, one government at the central, one government at the state. That means the village governments were transferred to the state subjects in the Government of India Act 1919 because we got Diarchy. In 1935, we have something called as three subjects that is state list, central list and concurrent list. In Councils Act 1909, we have something called as separate communal electorates. And in Charter Act 53, it is act given to the company. So, what is the answer? Answer is A. GO Act 1919 in which village governments are transferred to, in which village governments are transferred, village governments are trans into the transfer subjects. Right. We'll, let's move on to the next question, question number 3. Arrange the following princely states in chronological order which are annexed by Dalhousie according to doctrine of flux. See this part is very very important part for serious examinations because examiner will be concentrating mostly on this uh, uh, on the parts of this 1857 revolt. So this doctrine of flux played a very major role in the 1857 revolt. So let us see at the options. First one Satara. 2 Sambalpur, 3 Jansi and 4 Tanjavur that is Tanjavur. See all the four princely states are annexed by Dalhousie on the basis of doctrine of laps because these four uh, princely states are not having a legal list but we are asking chronological order. So chronological order is first Satara was the next, second Sambalpur was the next, third Jansi was the next, fourth Tanjavur was the next. That means correct answer was 1, 2, 3 and 4. So what is the correct answer? Correct answer is B. Right. Let us see with the next question. Fourth question. Consider the following statements. First statement, 1857 revolt started as a sudden revolt without any prior planning. Second statement, Santya Tope supported Jhansi Lakshmi Bhai in the revolt with the advice of Nana Sahib. Third statement, Lord Dalhousie took immediate measures to corrupt the revolt of 1857. If we see the three statements, in the first statement, 1857 revolt started as sudden revolt. No, the statement is wrong because 1857 revolt is not a sudden revolt because it was having a very long burning time because people of India were hearted for a very long time. So, 1857 revolt is not a sudden revolt and it was having a complete prayer plan because our Indian people planned it on May 10, 1857. So, statement 1 is wrong. Second statement. Tantya Tope supported Jansi Lakshmi Bhai. Yes, Tantya Tope supported Jansi Lakshmi Bhai. And Tantya Tope is the person of Nana Sahib. So, Nana Sahib advised Tantya Tope to support Jansi Lakshmi Bhai. So, second statement is correct. And third statement. Lord Dalhousie took immediate measures to corrupt the revolt of 1857, this statement is wrong because in 1856 Dalhousie was replaced by Lord Canning and 57 revolt, 1857 revolt happened in the time of Lord Canning. So, statement 3 is wrong. So, let us see at the options, choose the correct answers, choose the wrong answers. A, 1 and 3, B, only 3, C, only 1, D, only 2. So, the answer is A, 1 and 3. So, we should be very careful with the movements which are related to the 1857 revolt. Let us move on to the next question, question number 5. See, this question is based on the social-religious movements which have happened in India. Again, a statement-oriented 
question statement 1 consider the following statement statement 1 theosophical society was established by anni besant statement 2 young bengal women played a crucial role in the education of women in rural areas of bengal statement 3 ishwar chandra vidyasagar started a newspaper shom prakash for the upliftment of women right see first statement theosophical society was established by anni besant in india but in statement we are asking theosophical society was established by anni besant that means the statement is wrong because theosophical society was established by h p balavatsky theosophical society was established by h p balavatsky and h s oscott h s oscott in united states of america and in india it was established by anni besant so statement one is wrong young bengal movement played a crucial role in the education of women in rural areas yes. what is young bengal movement started by henry vivian louis garazio he is a professor at the hindu college of calcutta and he had some volunteers of the students the students went into rural areas and started giving education to the women so statement 2 is correct and ishwar chandra vidyasagar is the person who fought for widow remarriage act and his paper is shom prakash for the upliftment of women so the correct options are a the options are a 1 and 2 b 2 and 3 c 1 2 and 3 d none is correct so what is the correct answer correct answer is b 2 and 3 as the first statement is no let us move on to the next question again a statement oriented question that is question 6 consider the following statement again question is based on the religious movements of india first one such a shodak samaj founded by jyotiba phule fought against the brahmanical domination and untouchability Yes, this statement is correct because Jyotiba Phule is the person who fought, who fought against the Brahmanical domination that is caste discrimination and untouchability. He established such a show that mission in Pune. Like, second statement, self-respect movement started by E. V. Ramaswamy Nayakar who fought against the caste discrimination temple entry movement because E. V. Ramaswamy Nayakar is from Madras presidency. When he went to Delhi, as he was black in color, he was restricted to enter into temple of North India. Hence, he started a movement called as temple entry movement, which will be called as self-respect movement. So, again, statement 2 is correct. 3. Harijana Seva Sun established by Mahatma Gandhi fought for the causes of untouchables. Yes, it is 100% correct because Gandhi is the first person to call Dalits as Harijan as he fought with Ambedkar in the Pune attack. Gandhi called Dalits as Harijan. So, he established something called as Harijan Seva Sun and he fought for the cause of untouchables. So, all the three statements are correct. So, which is the correct option? Correct option is C, 1, 2 and 3. Let us move on to the next question. See, this question is based on the arranging in the chronological order. Right. Let us read the question. Arrange the following events of national movement in chronological order. What is chronological order? Chronological order is starting to ending. Which is started first, which is started second, which is started third and which started fourth. Now, what are the options? 1. Vande Matra movement. 2. Komagata Maro incident. 3. Formation of Muslim League. 4. Annulment of Bengal. So, what is the correct chronological order? Correct chronological order is first Vande Matra movement. Why Vande Matra movement? Because in 1905, Lord Curzon gave partition of Bengal. Against the partition of Bengal, announcement of partition of Bengal, we have something called as Vande Matram. That is 1905 Vande Matram movement. 1905 Vande Matram movement. Next formation of Muslim League that is because because of there is a differences between Muslims and Hindus in the Congress in 1906 we have something called as formation of Muslim League formation of Muslim League again next is see annulment of Bengal what is annulment of Bengal cancellation of Bengal that happened somewhere around 1911 in 1911 we have something called as Delhi Darbar in Delhi Darbar Prince of England declared that Bengal Bengal partition will be cancelled that means again Bengal will be united in Delhi Darbar sh uh, shifting of capital that is capital was shifted from Kolkata to Delhi so it happened in 1911 and last will be 1914 Ko Magata Maro incident Ko Magata Maro incident that is Ko Magata Maro is a ship which is taking immigrants from Kolkata Japanese ship which is taking immigrants from Kolkata to Vancouver in Canada 
from again it brought back the immigrants these immigrants were considered as gadars and british opened the fire on immigrants that incident will be called as go magata maru so what is the correct sequence correct sequence is vande matram movement formation of muslim league delhi darbar and go magata maru so what is the correct answer correct answer is 1 3 2 1 4 1 3 2 1 4 that is option d let us move on to the next question it's a diet question which of the following persons invited gandhi to champaran to fight for the cause of indigo revolt said right? see gandhi already had a very much reputation because of south africa satyagraha in south africa gandhi had something called as darban satyagraha so gandhi was having much reputation in in england in, in in south africa against the british so when gandhi came to india in 1970 the first movement in which gandhi participated was 1917 champaran satyagraha 1917 champaran satyagraha this is the first movement in which gandhi participated and gandhi was invited by let us see the options a babu rajendra prasad b vithal bhai patel c rajkumar shukla d gopal krishna gokhale see in the question we are asking for champaran who invented gandhi for champaran rajkumar shukla invited gandhi for champaran that is option c is correct be very careful with the options rajendra prasad is the person who accompanied gandhi in the champaran satyagraha vital bhai patel is the person who invited gandhi to kheda satyagraha rajkumar shukla is the person who invited gandhi to champaran satyagraha gopal krishna gokhale is the person who invited gandhi to india so this four people are very important in the modern indian history so we are moving on to the next question question number 9 a statement oriented question consider the following statements gandhi is the only non muslim to become president of muslim association that is khilafat committee statement 1 statement 2 non cooperation movement got official sanction from congress in vijayawada session of 1920 see first statement gandhi is the only non muslim to become president of muslim association it is 100% because because khilafat committee is against the khalifa because khalifa was threatened by british in after first world war so after first world war british threatened khalifa indi muslims in india started revolting against the british and president was mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi is the first non non muslim to become the president of muslim committee so statement 1 is correct second statement non cooperation movement got official sanction from congress in vijayawada session of 1920 yes it got official sanction in the congress session of 1920 but not in vijayawada but in nagpur that means in 1920 we are having two sessions one is vijayawada session second one is nagpur session so in nagpur session it is having the official sanction so statement 2 is wrong so what happened in vijayawada state vijayawada session in vijayawada session many south indian leaders like pingali venkayya patta sitaramayya and pingali venkayya gave indian flag for the first time so statement 2 is wrong statement 2 is wrong and what is the correct answer correct answer is only one is correct that is option a so you should be very careful with the question in the question we gave that congress session in vijayawada if this answer question is congress session in nagpur then it will be correct in vijayawada it is now so let us move on to the next question that will be our last question and uh, match the following question that the match the following first list first list consists of governor generals lord hastings a lord hastings b lord dalhousie c lord ripon d lord mountbatten and second list consists of events happened in the time of this governor generals one radcliffe committee two ilbert will controversy three engineering college at roorkee for separation of pindaris right see in the examination point of view governor generals and their events are very very important compulsory one question will be there from the governor general what are the important events from the governor general said right? that is so in the time of lord hastings lord hastings we have the in the time of lord hastings we have a very rebellion group called as pindaris so who are pindaris pindaris are the people who are the private army pindaris are the people who are the private army which was created by akbar but by the coming of british these pindaris were not having any work because this private army will be working with one king who will pay them but british are not paying them so pindaris started revolting so who suppressed pindaris lord hastings suppressed pindaris that is a is for four in the time of lord dalhousie we have first engineering college be very careful first medical college in the time of william bentick first engineering college in the time of 
Lord Dalhousie and Engineering College Zentrur. Today it became IIT Ruth. Right now, Lord Ripon. In the time of Lord Ripon, we have something called as Elbert Bill controversy. See, the judges of India will always remember Lord Ripon because Lord Ripon, like Lord William Bentinck and like Lord Dalhousie, he worked for the betterment of. Indians. What is Ilbert Bill? Ilbert Bill is something which gives authority for the Indian judges to detain to detain the British criminal. That means Indians have authority to question the British criminals, which made a very big controversy in British because Ilbert gave that authority to Indians. So this controversy is between British and British. That is Ilbert Bill controversy happened in time of Lord Ripon, and Lord Ripon is considered as a very important and most uh, most important Governor General for India who worked for India. Right? And last uh, last is the Lord Mountbatten. In the time of Lord Mountbatten, we have partition of Pakistan. And the person called as Radcliffe drew a line between Pakistan and India, which will be called as Radcliffe line, and that committee will be called as Radcliffe Commission. And be very careful, Radcliffe line is not only the boundary line between India and Pakistan; it is also the boundary line between India and Bangladesh, because the real, the whole name of Bangladesh was East Pakistan. In 1947, Pakistan was two two areas. One is West Pakistan, East Pakistan. After 97 war, East Pakistan converted into Bangladesh. That means. Right left line is between India and Pakistan as well as India and Bangladesh. So, what is the correct answer? Correct answer is A4, B3, C2, and D1. That is option C. So, these are some of the important questions on the modern Indian history, which are most expected for the for the upcoming serious examination. And we are like um, we we are going to start start special serious batches for. 2020 examination and this batch will be commencing from September 16. So please follow our channel, subscribe, like it, and please do share it. Thank you.